This is one of the oscilloscopes used at Purdue South Bend. This device takes some time to power up so it was on before rolling. The power button is on the top left of the case. An oscilloscope is used to view AC waveforms in the circuits. This one has two channels. An oscilloscope probe is used to take the signal into the device such as this one. The screen is broken into a grid pattern. The Y axis measures voltage and the X axis measures time. The units per division is shown here on the bottom of the screen. Right now channel 1 is viewed at 10 millivolts per division on the Y axis. The value can be changed manually by the yellow dial marked volt slash division. Channel 2 is the blue dial and can be turned on. It is set to 50 millivolts per division. Both channels while their Y axis can be measured separately are measured along the same X axis. Currently this is set to 5 microseconds per division. Remember, the volts per division is on the Y axis and adjusted with the corresponding dial per channel. And the time per division is measured on the X axis, which the channels share a single dial. And all that is great, but this digital oscilloscope will self adjust by using the auto set button. Trust me, this is your friend. The next part to check is the menu of each channel. Make sure the appropriate coupling is being used for your circuit and that the probe selection is correct. Odds are it will be either times 1 or times 10. Check the switch on the probe to verify the settings. If a straight B and C cable is connected from a source to the oscilloscope, make sure the probe setting is at times 1. For this tutorial, the oscilloscope is directly connected to the function generator. Another feature of the digital oscilloscope is the measurements it can take. The channel and measurement type can be selected. Five different measurements can be taken at one time with this device. Note the measurements are in volts for the Y axis or time slash frequency for the X axis. With an active signal, the oscilloscope needs to be adjusted properly to see the desired features. Here a slope is seen, but what is the real signal? The time slash division dial can be adjusted manually, just as the appropriate volt slash division dial can be adjusted. One can calculate approximate settings if the signal being measured is known. This signal measures in at 2 VRMS, or almost 3 volts peak, 3 divisions high from the zero mark times. 1 volt per division adds up to 3, and the seconds per division over a full period can be calculated. 10 divisions at 100 microseconds per division is 1 millisecond. Or just read out as 1 kilohertz. Remember, frequency is the inverse of the total period in seconds. Of course, one could cheat and use the auto set button, and the measurements could have been set up to read directly, but where's the fun in that? Either way, viewing two full periods of a waveform is the best way to display a signal. Horizontal adjust and vertical adjust can move the wave around to view different features. And when one views more than a single channel, the waveforms can be viewed together or separate. Power down the equipment safely and clean up your station.